Hey everybody, what's up? This is Devin Lavore coming at ya. And uh, I just want you to raise your hand if you really, really, really enjoy waiting a long time for the promise of the Lord to come to pass. No, nobody enjoys waiting. <laughs> my little guy, my youngest, you know, we say, hey, he'll be like, Dad, Mom, can we go do this? He was like, well... Maybe we'll figure it. And then if, it, if he gets a yes, it's a yay. All right, come on, let's go right now. Since we said yes, he's thinking, let's go right now, right? And it's like, well, you're going to have to wait. And he's like, oh, I hate waiting. I don't want the waiting. <laughs> but we have to wait. But the promise is sure, right? So, you know, the scripture says that daily we should encourage each other, you know, with certain things as we... Uh, as he draws near to his return, but also as we're waiting on the promise of God to be fulfilled in our lives, right? And so there is my, there's my daughter in the background there watching her show. That computer is mega old. It literally will only get YouTube and Netflix, and even that's starting to act up already. It's, it's about to die, like dead. But um, but it keeps my little guy satisfied for <laughs> watching his shows. But the thing of it is. I just want to ask you guys, like, what is your thing? What is your thing that keeps you going, you know? You've got to find something that keeps you going. Obviously, the Lord is what keeps us going. But a lot of times, the Lord gives us methods and things that fit us personally that help us to continue to believe and keep going. For me, it's just talking to the Lord. I just have to talk to Him. Um, I have to talk to, you know, I like talking to people. Um, a lot of times, the only people live that I have to talk to is my family. So I talk to Michelle a lot, you know. Um, and sometimes I just have to get my mind off of things, which is why I do puzzles, you know. Um, things of that nature that the Lord allows me to do. And just, you know, I, I just... I. I I find certain things, and sometimes it is about reciting scripture, sometimes it's about worship, sometimes it's about all of those things, you know? The the thing that worked yesterday might not work today, so you gotta go to the Lord, be a Lord, I need to be encouraged today, you know? But, you know, the scripture says that we should encourage each other, but also... The scripture says, train yourself up in godliness. Uh, David said, I encouraged myself in the Lord. It says, uh, when when Z when Ziklag was r raised to the ground and um, all of his men were about to stone him to death, you know, he's like, he encouraged himself in the Lord by seeking the Lord. And and it's like, we, we, we all have to do that. You know, anybody who's successful at anything, they keep going. They keep going because they know that it's going to happen. Um, it doesn't matter whether you're, for example, if you're a novel writer, for example, um, and you're just not selling any books, you sold like three books last month, zero books this month, and, but you know that the Lord has you on this path and you know the promise he's had for you you just got to keep on going because something will break you know and you can find people in your industry or wherever god's put you or whatever you put on your heart to do you can find people who have a similar story of just like man i was doing it for like 10 years you know a, a group called third day remember that band they were a worship team and they were they were doing what they did for 10 years before they got discovered and then they blew up for a time right and it's, I find that to be very common because I study success, or I used to. I don't do that as much as anymore, but I used to study it like crazy. Like, how does it work? How does this mechanism called success work? Because I wanted to be successful. God had a different path for me and my success. He's like, well, you follow me and you'll be successful. So that's what I did. I'm just following the Lord. I mean, I was already following the Lord pretty hardcore, but then he's like, I want you to follow me. I mean... Do you really want to be successful? Like, yes, I do. I I mean, I want to be like the ultimate. And ultimately, I want to be successful in my relationship with the Lord, right? That's my ultimate success. That's my first success. If nothing else in my life is successful, if my relationship with the Lord is successful, I know that other things in my life will be. That's just a Psalm 1 promise and other promises from all over the place, right? 
following the Lord, you're going to be successful. Everything you put your hand to is going to grow and prosper and all that stuff. That doesn't mean you won't suffer setback, disappointment, betrayal, um, let down all those things. You know, that doesn't mean you're not going to, but it's like, it's not going to overtake you. It, it could be like moments in your life or, and they can be some really bad moments, like the death of somebody you love or the, the, the separation of a really good relationship or, or something like that. But that kind of stuff is going to happen. But as you grow in the Lord, you know, and so it's like, ultimately, it's like for me, like I did this YouTube channel for like nine months and I was in single digit views back in 2017. And then, and then I, I gave a prophetic word. You have to understand when I gave that prophetic word, it was really strange to me. It was just like, I'm prophesying to a camera and to the ether, like that's the most bizarre thing ever. And then I later find out that like a ton of people do that. I'm like, I'm late to the game. I'm like Apostle Paul. I'm, I'm late. You know, <laughs> I'm late born into this YouTube ministry thing. <laughs> God's like, oh, this has been going on for a while, buddy. I've been doing this for a long time. I've been using people to do this for a while, bro. And we've gone through ups and downs as far as subscribers and viewership and all that stuff. It's like, no, it don't matter. I just know that there's going to uh, come a time where the promise of God is going to take place, you know? So I want you guys to do that for yourselves. I want you to find the thing, find the thing that keeps you going, find the thing that I'm not saying even the find the thing that makes you happy. I'm saying find the thing that keeps you going, find the thing that keeps you moving forward. Whatever the thing is, the provision of the Lord for your encouragement, where is it? Get it out as much as you can. You know, maybe it is worship for you. Maybe it is reciting scripture. Maybe it is, I don't know, it could be different things that aren't so obviously spiritual, like reading the Bible and praying and all that stuff. I mean, we just, we do that all the time. But there, there could be mechanisms or methods or things that God's used for your life to help you keep going forward, to bring life into you again, to just breathe a little bit of breath onto the smoldering embers of your hope and your faith to get it going again. You know, what is that? Discover what that is. If you don't know, go to the Lord. That's, that's always going to be my answer. Go to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Speak to the Lord. You know, because when he, in Hosea 6.3, it says his coming is as certain as the rising of the sun or as the dawn. Um, and he will surely bring to us the early and the latter rain, you know. Oh, that's my alarm clock going off. Doing laundry today. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> got to go down and get the laundry out the dryer. But it's funny because I was actually about done. But yeah, I just want you guys to do that. Just... Find that thing that, you, that that makes you go and keep going. And just, I was, I was in an especially, especially downer place this morning for different reasons. It was very, I felt, I felt like I was at a funeral, a funeral of my uh, hopes and expectations and dreams in a certain area of my life. And I was just, I felt like I was at a funeral and no one's rejoicing in the Lord at a funeral, you know, but I was just like, no. The Lord has been speaking to us, John 4, 24, through a prophetic number. I keep seeing 424 all over the place. I mean, all over. And it's, the Lord's like, what do we do when we go to the mountain? Go up to the mountain. Worship. Worship, 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 worship. And I tell you what, that did it, you know. Brandon Lake has come out with a new song called uh, Tear Off the Roof. And man, we have been eating that thing day and night for God time. Because it's just so where we're at right now. You know, and it uses bits and pieces of clips from the, the Chosen TV series. And I tell you what, it penetrated our hearts as a family. We're just like, yes, that's where we're at, God. We, Jesus, we need the miracle. You know, we have a faith that's beyond the bleeding. We have a faith that's beyond even our need. We have a faith that's beyond ourselves. And we're reaching out to you to get what we need. It's more than money. Trust me. Um, everybody needs money and you have to make, you know, you have to make money somehow. And when you're in this position, we, we raise support and that's what we do. Um, but it's like, man, some of the stuff that we have to deal with as believers goes beyond even our, our promises, you know, or what we're believing for. Um, and so we've just got to encourage ourselves in the Lord that he is faithful and he is trustworthy and he is true and he will bring it to pass. What's that? First Thessalonians 5, 23 and 24. Um, 
if he's going to keep your body, soul, and spirit safe until the coming of the Lord Jesus, Romans 8.32, um, if he's given us Jesus, how will he not freely give us all other things? You know, it's like his promise to you, his vision, his dream to you is real. You know, don't compare your life to other people and just start to question, is this real? Because that's what was happening to me last night, too. I was like, nah, 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 nah. You can't be in here. You got to get out. You know, I'm going back to the Lord. Lord, encourage me. What is your word to me? Because it's your word that's never going to fail. My hopes and my dreams and my desires and my imagination, that's already done failed me. And it's going to fail me if I if I depend on it. What is your word? You know what I'm saying? So I just pray that the Lord's word to you would be come alive again. That you'd breathe, you know, your spirit on your people's hearts and stir up the fire of that word again. Amen. Okay, well, guys, I got to go do laundry and love you and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.